What's going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscription button, turn on notification bell so you don't miss a video and let's just jump into it. So today we have got ourselves the 85 Robert Perez icon. We managed to pick him up for 150k. I am looking to sell him for like 160 so we're going to make a small amount of profit, nothing too crazy there. But it's just to try him out and review him. As you can see, he's got quite rounded stats for a centre mid. He is normally can, but we have dropped him down. Four star, four star, right foot, medium, medium. Uh, as you can see here, his pace definitely needs to be upgraded mainly. But overall, he looks very good. I wish his balance and his agility was slightly higher just because of his height, because he is six foot two. His crossing, short pass, long pass, free kick accuracy curves, all banging. Absolutely spot on. Finishing's good. Shot power needs to be a bit higher. His jumping and stamina needs to improve, and he's got no decent traits, unfortunately. But let's just jump into a game and see how we get on. So we have managed to find ourselves a game here. Let's see what our opponent's team is. Very nice team. It's going to be a good test for Van. Uh, it's going to be a good test for Robert Perez here. As I've noticed so far by playing on FIFA, it's really important to. Uh, have midfielders that can pass the ball around as this guy looks like he knows what he's doing here. Uh, he feels a bit slow again that balance and agility coming in but we'll obviously keep our eye on that as we progress through the game he looks like he can play a good pass there more love that back to him open our oh, wrong person see what his recovery speeds like again having not having the greatest pace as we always get through here what a save keeper Obviously, his height is going to make him beneficial in the defensive department as he is marking back post. So, hopefully, he can win a few headers for us as well, even though his defending isn't the highest. Perez on the ball here. Perez, he's Zayat. Can he play it? What an absolute mad pass that was. Of he gone out for a throw in, but you can see his passing abilities coming into play already. Having midfielders that can pass is going to be massive this year. He seems to be very good at playing forward passes. I'm not liking his position that much, though. He is keep coming back. He keeps uh, drifting out of position slightly. What a mad pass. What a shot. What a save. Can we get the rebound? We can. That's come from Perez's little unlocking pass there. Cut through the midfield. Okay, we got lucky on the, uh, the rebound, but you can't score unless you have those opportunities, and you can't get opportunities unless you've got players that can play the ball through, and that was an absolute outstanding pass from Perez there. I wish that his prime and his mid were cams as well. I know he never played there for Arsenal in that position, but imagine his prime as a cam. Oh my God, that card would be ridiculous. Right, Zayac. Great to Perez on a counter attack here. Obviously, once. Great pass. He doesn't seem to miss that many passes for a midfielder. Oh, bad dribble, though. That's acceleration. Coming. His passing ability seems second to none. We've got Martial through here. Again, another. Perfectly placed pass. Quick shot off the post there. He seems really good in the again a passing ability. He does feel a bit clunky though, I can't lie to you. I think later on when we get more special cards and more high pace and high agility midfielders, he'll probably be taken out of the game slightly. But at the minute, he's a bit expensive because he's an icon, but he does seem like he knows how to play the ball well. Again, <laughs> as I've said that, commentator's curse, he's just in a bad pass there. But. Ajax trying to feed it, couldn't find him. And that is half time. We are 1 0 up. Perez has been. How do I say? He's not been average. He's been just above. He does feel very slow on the ball at times and a bit clunky. But if you can get a pass off and he's got the space there, he will deliver that ball as we have a look at his stats here. His passing, he's expected to get 1.7. He's had 26 passes, 21 completed, 3 intercepted, 6 through balls, and 20 ground passes. We haven't had a shot of him yet, so I need to make sure I shoot a bit more. He's had 24 dribbles and 23 completed, but. He doesn't feel that good with dribbling. He does feel very slow. I think I've got an engine on him, but I'm generally thinking maybe Hunter might be better just to really boost, boost up that uh, pace. But we'll see how we get on in the second half. Right, Perez intercepts here. Let's get the counter attack going. We use explosive sprint to get past one. Not really. Down the line. Love that. Lovely touch there from Perez. Open up the space. No one else, we're going to play it back. Start the attack up again. Oh, Vardy couldn't play the ball through, unfortunately. Perez, nice little layoff. One more. Gets past one. Gets past Ferlan Mendy. Can he whip the ball in? That's a great ball. Oh, no one on the end of it. It's a box. 
Perez. Oh, I couldn't get the shot off. That's a good run from him. He did manage to get past Ferland Mendy there, which was impressive. I think it might be because he is now going all out attack, trying to get another goal, as you can imagine. Trying to get a draw or a win. Can he find Martial? Of course he can. Martial cross. Bardi off the back of defender. Let's get Perez on the corner here. No, I don't want to take Perez. Get Perez on the corner here. And he's got really good accuracy and uh, curl, but he's got not much shot power to do with it. Can we get a goal here? Beme. Oof. But yeah, if you're looking for like a cheap... Well, I say cheap. If you're looking for a cheap icon, you can play the ball around and be very solid in terms of putting the tack forward and Perez is your guy. If you're looking for someone who can run with the ball a bit more and drive, he isn't that type of player, unfortunately. Well, can we do a long through ball over the top? Oh, he's missed it, unfortunately. But he looks quite big. His acceleration is definitely low, though, I've noticed. Bad touch. Kept it somehow. Made it out wide. Nice ball to Trippier. Perez wants it back. Got Vardy through. First time shot. What a save. What a save. Back on it. Yeah, 94 curl. So we can use it as he curls it out. It's an outswinger. Oh, Ben Mee tries to get on the end of it. Unfortunately, goes out for a goal kick. Nice bit of skill there to get past one. Nice little turn. Oh, bad pass. Yeah, look at his stamina now. He's looking absolutely shattered. His passes are now starting to go a bit wayward because he's tired. Again, I can't mention it enough. Stamina is so important this year. They really punish you now if you have low stamina. Can that run? Can we play it through the gap? Why has he let touch that? That's a through ball. Oh, is that a red card, I believe? brasco has got a straight red. Starting to lose his head now. Can't deal with Perez's control in midfield. Then me again. He's starting to lose his head. Slide tackling left, right, and centre. Good tackle there from Camavinga. Again, they're going back into what I mentioned about stamina. As he's probably just scored from that. Oh, yeah. Talking about stamina and acceleration, you could really see at the end of the game there that Perez was quite tired, couldn't break out. But that's going to be the end of the game. We did with 1 0. That was a really tough game. Good game for Perez to really test him out. Let's have a look at some of his stats here. So as you can see, his heat map, he played on the right centre mid roll. He was very defensive and he's also pushing forward, which is great for a box to box. In terms of possessions, he had 50 dribbles, completed 45, but he didn't feel that agile. I'm not going to lie to you, he felt very clunky on the ball at times. We didn't manage to get any shots off with him, so I couldn't test that today. But passing, he's very good at passing, very good at passing. Some of the through balls I'll try and a bit outrageous, don't get me wrong, but... And then defending, obviously, he made one interception, one clearance. Nothing too much. But in terms of chem styles, I think either a catalyst or a hunter is probably your best move for him. Just to really boost up that acceleration and to really boost up the uh, pace of him. But that's going to be the video for today. So if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscription button. Turn on notifications for certain a video, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Coming with a vision that's cold, you can sit back, chill with a pen and take notes. I haven't got time for the trip and flow. I'ma take my aim with a pen and I'm low. Cock back spree, let my enemies know when I reach.